Nijmegen, the oldest city of the Netherlands, houses a park with a remarkable history. The relatively small platform rising above the Waal River and the surrounding valley have played a noticeable role in Western European history because of their strategic position and advantageous trade route. The Germanic tribe of the Batavi lived here when the Romans arrived in the region around 19 BC. They built a settlement on the Valkhof called Opidum Batavorum. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the Merovingians and later the Carolingians made use of the remains of the Roman fortifications to build their own. In December 800 AD, the Holy Roman Emperor was crowned. For an effective reign of the empire that covered almost the entire territory of Western Europe, Emperor Charlemagne had to travel a lot. For this purpose, he built several residences all over his realm. The northern residence Charlemagne built was the Volkhof Palace in the Netherlands, which he visited several times during his reign. The Saxon Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, Otto II, and his Byzantine wife Theophano also visited the Volkhof regularly. On one of those trips to the Volkhof, Theophano gave birth to her son, Otto. She passed away in the year 991 at the Volkhof Palace. The St Nicholas Chapel was built around the year 1000. Because of its style and its dedication to St Nicholas, it is likely that Otto III had it built in remembrance of his mother, Theophano. The wedding certificate of Emperor Otto II and Theophano still decorates the St Nicholas Chapel. In 1155, Frederick I Barbarossa rebuilt and expanded the Volkhof Castle. He inscribed a Roman column with a reference to Julius Caesar as the founder of the castle. The single remainder of Barbarossa's work still carries his name, the Barbarossa Ruin, also known as St Martin's Chapel. It was 1795 when the Provincial College of Galleria decided to demolish the old castle. Due to persistent protests of the citizens, the city of Nijmegen succeeded in saving the two chapels. After the demolition, on the former castle grounds, a city park was created in the English landscape gardening style. Since the demolition, there have been requests to reconstruct parts of the castle, in particular the Dondon Tower. In 1944, the city of Nijmegen faced heavy fighting at the Volkhof area during Operation Market Garden. The Germans built three bunkers in the Volkhof Hill to defend the bridge over the Waal River. Nijmegen was liberated by British and American divisions in September 1944. Fortunately, all the monumental buildings in the Volkhof Park remained intact. Located at the edge of the park, the Volkhof Museum houses a permanent exhibition of archaeological finds and antiquities. Several times a year the park is used for events, such as the biggest medieval festival in the Netherlands, the international four days marches and several other music and theatre festivals. Because of its location near the vibrant city centre, the Volkhof Park is really part of this friendly student town.